Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. So today I want to talk about an art concept known as notional space. And what I thought I would do is I'll read the explanation of what that means from a lesson plan from the Da Vinci Initiative. And then what I'll do is I'll show how the artist can use that, the concept of notional space, when it comes to placing elements in their composition using the harmonic armature. And I thought what I would do is I'll use a, a painting by Mandy Tice since she's co-founder of the uh, Da Vinci Initiative. Just makes sense to tie the two together. So let me get started. All right, I'm just going to scroll down here. It says, under the summary, the notional space is the rectangle formed around an object when you find its height and width. Imagine the notional space as being a clear box that perfectly fits around your object. And she gives a few examples here, one right here, and this just basically is placing a rectangle around a specific object in your composition. And of course she has one right here at the beginning. It is a sculpture and then she has the rectangle around that. But what I wanna do is I wanna take one of Mandy's paintings and I'll put the notional space around the box and I'll show you how it fits within the armature. All right. This is a painting, a painting by Mandy, and I came across this in her presentation, What is an Atelier? And you can find that, PD, I think it's a PDF or a PowerPoint. You can find it on their website, School of Atelier Arts, or you can reach out to me and I can send you a copy. But either way, you can download it. I would prefer you download it from her website so that way she can keep track of who's interested in what she's doing. So it just makes a little bit more sense. All right, so you have a simple subject. You have a, looks like a, a milk bottle possibly on a table. It's nothing overly complex, but where you place your subject matters in a composition. I came across a video a few weeks ago and the, the podcasters were talking about composition in the harmonic armature. And I had mentioned this before in, I think, a previous video. But one thing that stuck out with me, one of the podcasters says, does it really make that much of a difference if it's a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, up or down? And actually it does. It really does matter where you place the elements in your composition. And a little bit off can make the difference between a work of art and an okay drawing, painting, or photograph. So it really does matter. But you can tell I've created a notional space box around the bottle but you also have two horizontal lines here. You've got a dominant one right here. And what I'll do is I'll just outline that. You have a dominant horizontal line right here, and then you have a subordinate one right here. Both of these are derived from the harmonic armature, as well as the bottle placement around the notional space. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, here's the painting with the harmonic armature drawn out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop some vertical and horizontal lines wherever two or more diagonal lines intersect because that's how you can use the armature. There's several ways the artist can use the diagonal lines of the armature. You can drop verticals and horizontal lines wherever two or more lines intersect. You can use the diagonal lines and you can frame in your subject or a combination of all three. But let me show you what you can do by placing the bottle using the notional space in the harmonic armature. This video won't take too long. So you can drop a vertical right here because you have these intersecting diagonal lines at that point. So it gives me that division. You have another division right here where this series of diagonal lines intersect as well. But you also have a horizontal line here where these diagonal lines intersect. That frames in the bottom and then you have this horizontal at the top. So you've immediately framed in the bottle, but you also have verticals and horizontal lines here in the shading. For example, you have a, a darker shadow right here where the corner wraps around the bottle and the light's hitting the bottle and it's going around the other side. So it's darker. You're creating this shadow horizontal line and that can be derived from these intersecting diagonal lines there. But you also have the shadow horizontal right there. And then you have another one, I believe. You have another vertical right here in the shadow. And then from that point, you framed in, for the most part, even the shadow areas of the bottle. 
you have a horizontal line here, which is your dominant horizontal line, right? Right there. But if I drop a vertical here, let's try that again, where these two diagonal lines intersect, or maybe it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Where these two diagonal lines intersect right here, I can drop this vertical, and it gives me this last subordinate horizontal line where it meets that diagonal line. So just with a few lines in the harmonic armature, understanding the notional space around the bottle, which I showed you before, I've locked the bottle into place, but it aligns with divisions in the harmonic armature. In other words, there's a relationship there between the notional space of the bottle and the divisions in the harmonic armature. And it's pretty easy to see from just dropping, what is this, maybe six, seven, or eight lines at the most. I've located my dominant divisions, locked in the bottle, and I have an exceptional design. It doesn't require hundreds of lines to create an effective composition. Sorry, struggling with that word today. It doesn't take a lot. Designs can be very simple, but yet effective. You can make a composition as simple or as complex as you want it to be. And as I've talked about many times before, when it comes to some of this information that you find online, a lot of it's just too hard. And it doesn't have to be that hard. You can really learn this information very quickly in a short amount of time. And then as you build on it, you can start with simple compositions. This isn't overly complex, but it is, it's a nice design because it's locating a good place on the canvas where to, to put the bottle on the table and you're creating a few divisions. But hopefully this makes sense. One thing I wanna to mention too is that I've updated my user's guide today with a lot more examples. So if you want a recent copy of my PDF, go to my website, theartofcomposition.com, and you can download the free PDF under the tab, Free Downloads, The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today, I appreciate it, as always.